India, we often complain about coalition politics and what a mess it is. We say it only happens in India. Turns out that's not true. Every democracy enjoys or suffers, as you might call it, the flip side of democracy. Tonight, we show you a political deadlock in Italy, the kind we've seen very often in India. Italy stares at yet another election as none of the leading parties have made a successful bid to form a government. After more than two months of hectic parleys, India's Prime Minister in waiting has now, Italy's rather, Prime Minister in waiting has now given up. He has failed to convince the country's president. Former International Monetary Fund official Carlo Cotarelli has now got a chance to form a government. Will he be able to break the deadlock? Or is it only a matter of time when Italy goes for fresh elections? Our next report brings you the possibilities and incredible parallels with India. Out of control ministers of parliament. Newly elected party men locked up in luxurious resorts. even a brawl inside a state assembly. Anyone well versed with Indian politics will tell you there is never a dull day in the life of an Indian politician. The story in Italy, it appears, is no different. After Germany battled for five months over coalition politics, politicians in Italy are facing a not-so-different challenge. Giuseppe Conte, who was the Prime Minister in waiting, has now refused to take up the post. As it was anticipated, I have given back the mandate that I received from the President of the Republic, Mattarella, for forming the Government of Change. I thank the President of the Republic for giving me the mandate on 23rd May and I am grateful to the two political leaders, Ligi Di Maio of the Five Star Movement and the League's Matteo Salvini for having suggested my name. For more than two months now, the far-right Lega party and the Five Star Movement have been desperately trying to form a government. The elections held on March 4th ended in a hung parliament. But Italy's president, Sergio Mattarella, refused to play ball with the Prime Minister-designate of both parties. President Mattarella refused to accept Paolo Savona as the next finance minister of the country, the disagreement is over Italy's membership of the European Union. While President Mattarella wants Italy to remain a member of the European Union, both Giuseppe Conte and Paolo Savona are seen as Eurosceptics. President Mattarella, who holds the power to reject cabinet appointees, refuses to back down. The uncertainty over our position in the European Union has created concerns for Italian and foreign investors who have invested in our instruments and our companies. The increase in the differential with the German interest rates only makes our public debt bigger day by day. So, the question is whether Italy is now staring at another round of elections this in case both sides refuse to blink. But the leaders of Lega Party and the Five Star Movement are now training their guns on the president. Calling for Mattarella's impeachment, both parties are now blaming Germany, economic lobbies and ratings agencies for meddling. Bureau Report, we are.